Hi guys, how are we all doing? And welcome to my channel. If you if you are new to this channel, hi, my name's Kathy. I've enjoyed doing videos around about fibromyalgia, mental health, and of course, I can't leave out my furry babies, which at the minute are taking up my life. But I won't change it any other way. So you might think, oh, what's today's video? Mm -hmm, by the uh, title. Pop a comment in below and uh, let me know what you think. So grab a cup or a coffee or a milkshake because I could do a milkshake right now. I've got heartburn from hell. So, <laughs> so I've been on and off for the past few days thinking about this certain thing well in fact a few months back i was thinking about it and i put it on back burn thinking oh i'm never gonna be able to do it uh, mental health everyone just you know what i mean i'll put myself down a hell of a lot so i've gone and done something drastic today oh my lord i don't <laughs> now i'm thinking how the hell i'm gonna do this but I've decided whilst I'm at home trying to recover obviously with my fibro and hopefully getting that under managed at the minute and sorting my life out in general and whilst doing homeschooling I thought I'd take it upon myself to da, da, da. excuse the grey hairs I get dealt with later reset the past few weeks at all I've decided to do access to nursing course online because i'm one that doesn't like to be around other people that much and i need to i'm working on that i am working on that but yeah i took it upon myself to decide this is it now i know i'm 45 and i'm probably too old for it but you know you're never too old for anything i've tried to put myself in the frame of mind of you can do this the only thing i'm worried about is my dyslex having dyslexia uh i'm same way in maths i'm hoping that the company I've gone with, because I have to pay a monthly, it gets you into university. And I thought, whilst I'm trying to do some home learning with Olivia, why not do some of it myself? And it's something that I have always wanted to do. Back in the day, it was always wanting to work with elderly and stuff like that. Then Olivia became where she needed help with her, phys her physical health. And she had an operation of operation and that's what made me think about it back then um then obviously my mental health deteriorated and that's what made me then think you know what i've seen some staff act inappropriate and should be in the job and i'm thinking the best people that can do that job is people that have experienced it so i took it i have to do access to nursing is it I can't remember what I've signed up for now but I thought you know what I'm going to do this and then hopefully when it goes to university hopefully I can get in um, I'll do the mental health nursing and now I know people are going to say well you got dyslexia how are you going to read I am going to I'm going to try when I get some spare brass if, <laughs> excuse the finger in the camera um, obviously the animals have come first for the past few weeks with vet bills but I am going to try and get myself a laptop, a decent laptop. Uh, and also I've noticed, and I got told about this, I've been looking at him since I had my therapy. And I've noticed you can get a pen um, on Amazon, quite a lot of money. So I need to save up for that. And you put this pen across the word that you cannot say and it says it for you. Uh, so that's great. Um, I'm probably going to try and do my maths and English on the side as well. I mean, my English, when I did my GCSEs, that were many moons ago. Um, so I've got really bad out there today. I, if, I don't, if I did my handwriting nice and neatly at that time, I would have got a C. But I didn't have got a D because I didn't want to be in that room. It was too overwhelming. I stressed out. Just scratched it. And you know when you're suffering with some kind of learning difficulties, you don't I like I don't know where to put the full stop. I don't know a bit what question marks, this and that. I'm learning as I sorry, my bones are clicking like mad. So 
wish me well guys <laughs> am i doing the right thing at my age i should have i you know what i, I talked to a neighbor not so long ago about we were talking about driving lessons and stuff and i said if i know back then you could do automatic i'd have done my driving a long time ago because of bad experiences with my dad who was an alcoholic and used to drink drive it put me off now i'm starting to think i wish i'd done this earlier maybe have a good career out of it i know i've probably got a long long life left and hopefully i can do this with the support of my family and you guys that would be fantastic yeah so do you think i've done the right thing have i already asked you that question i'm looking also guys let me know in the comments below do you take any vitamins for memory because i'm really wanting to work on that as well today i've got a clear mind yesterday i was whacked out i mean whacked out um but i really want to do this and i really want to um, achieve something in my life and i've you know i've had i have got qualifications but because i've been out of work for a very long time i mean back to the last time I kind of worked was in uh, home care. That was back in 2020 when it was in the middle of COVID and I worked there for a while. But at the time, um, my, daughter, my eldest daughter needed me with her autism and stuff like that. So I had to quit and put some fibro were obviously starting to kick in that well. And then obviously a certain situation arose and that triggered me with my mental health. Uh, mental health wise I'm quite okay actually quite okay <laughs> I'm actually okay to be honest um, I am taking my medication as right as I am morning and well I, I forgot this morning that's why I've got mega out there but any suggestions on research things like books I can or laptops or anything that you think could help me do this course pop a comment in below because I really want to do this I really want to achieve something I want the kids to be proud of me I want to be proud of myself for achieving something I know it's gonna it's gonna be a long two years to do but oh, I didn't get out then did I? two years I'm no I'll be nearly nearly 50 then well oh and I've got it hopefully if I can get it to you now um I'm not sure if I need like some work experience like voluntary work might have to look into that but Whilst my mind is as clear as day to day, sorry, I'm just sorry, stood near, sat near the window because I'm just seeing, to, I'm just giving, sorry, oh, I'm just giving Ronnie his medication. Update on the cats. Sutty is not, I have to cancel his vet appointment tomorrow, but his face is fine. He's at his, at his pain relief and his um, antibiotic. However, Ronnie has got, a long way a long recovery to you know get to back to where he was at the minute it's weekly appointments from pdsa um yeah so hopefully next week if there's still no movement by the tail then that's when they're telling me it's gonna have to be amputated now i know sometimes when i'm writing stuff like I, on my facebook i wrote it and i'm like i have to get it removed it's because I can't spell amputated. So this is where that pen will come in handy. So yeah, I'm going to look again on that on Amazon and see what I can find. What's the best laptop that people are using these days? Or should I go for one of them computers with the um, TV screen and deck? What do you call those? Compute PCs. Sorry. So yeah. Let's see how this goes. <laughs> Wish me luck, everyone. Thanks again for watching. Please don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't already. That being said, press that notification bell. And let me know your thoughts and what you are up to today. And wish me luck. Thank you, guys. And I'll catch up with you in the next video. I'm hoping to do a live on Saturday. It'll be about maybe 7 o'clock, half 7. But we'll, I'll see you then. See you later. Bye-bye.